What I got in front of me is a Boya BY-WM6 wireless microphone system. This is a UHF, not Bluetooth or anything like this, so it does have some extended distance. Now I ended up buying this was, I run shotgun mics and everything and I needed something wireless. I think I pretty much graduated to that level with my videos. Did a lot of pairing on reviews and whatnot. Settled on this. It's not real cheap, but it's not going to break the bank. I do believe it was around $140 on eBay. You can get on Amazon or whatever. The biggest thing I want to cover with this is we're going to do the actual sound quality and see how far away this thing will pick up and we'll do some wind shots if somebody's interested in a real good wireless mic. But it comes with uh, pretty much the standard stuff. Nice plastic uh, foam lined case. And this is for a more higher end mics. This adapter it'll come with. Very easy to use. You basically have, you can go on and read all about the features and everything else with it. But it comes with a transmitter and your little clip on mic, which I find that works quite well. Everything screws in versus just plugging in to where it won't accidentally come out. You got your receiver, of course your three and a half millimeter jack to plug into your camera or whatever. What I'm going to be doing today is you got this little screw-on adapter and did a quarter 20 thread. Both of them in the back has quarter 20 threads for tripod mounts. But this, of course, will, will slide right into your hot shoe or cold shoe on your camera. Both transmitter and receiver run on two AA batteries, which, else I, which I found was actually quite nice inconvenient. Very simple to operate. Uh, transmitter, got the clip on the back. Well, the same with the receiver too. Clip this to your belt or your pocket. Clip the microphone on, turn them on, and away you go. Now as far as hooking them up or setting them up, it's quite simple. You're just going to basically turn both units on. You notice that blue light flashing. I just turned the transmitter on and the blue light quit flashing if you can see that meaning it's ready to go. Both transmitter and receiver are identical. I'm at volume 13, it goes up to 32. That's where I'm gonna try it out at is 13. You can turn that up and down, quite simple. In your channels, you got numerous channels to go through. Just make sure each one's on the right channel. And away you go. On your transmitter, you do have your one button. Shut the sound off, turn it back on. That's basically all there is to this thing, which I really like. Now I'm going to get it set up. And we're going to run through some acid tests and give a person a good idea if they feel like they should uh, have one or want one or just how good these boyas are. All right, here's the setup. I got this on my Panasonic, as you see there. Cold shoe adapter, pretty sturdy. It does take up some space, but not a ton more than a decent sized shotgun mic. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the four wheeler, and I'm gonna get my range finder and go down that road. And what we'll do is uh, start measuring it off. See how far away I can get, get a real good reading on the distance this thing still has reception along with we got about upwards, I'd say about 15, 20 a mi mile an hour gust today. So we're going to kill three birds with one stone. Distance, wind noise, and then doing it while operating a vehicle like ATV. So let's go ahead and, uh, if you notice there, a lot of wind. Let's get rolling. All right, I'm going to be using this range fighter, and we're going to grab the four-wheeler. Head out and start going. Serious wind going, so pretty uh, pretty good test. Now, right now, I know you can't see me. What I'm doing is going back into my shed, and I would say I'm exactly 19 yards away from the camera right now, and it's still in line of sight. Now, I'm around the side of the brick house, and I'm over 25 yards away, if you can still hear this. I'm going into my shed, metal shed, behind the house. Approximately, I'll give it 30 yards. And if you can still hear me, that's pretty damn good. I highly doubt it. I'm in the shed, and once again, you can hear me. Wicked. If not, 
I don't expect it to work. Getting on a four-wheeler. Okay, back it up now. Said I'll get going down the road, and then we're gonna get set up, and I'll start shooting back at the house. See how uh, the punching can take. A lot of wind right now. Probably about 30 mile an hour winds coming into this thing, blowing down the road. Pretty wick. Ways away. Don't you can hear. All right. If perchance you can hear me, you are over 200 yards away right now. And I'm talking, I don't even know why I'm talking loud because either you can hear me or not. It ain't like I can holler back to the camera at 200 yards. We're going to move in. I'm sorry you didn't hear me. Alright, right here. Okay, right now, my range finder will pick it up. Right here is exactly 181 yards. I don't know if I can get this to meters or not. 164 meters away. That's a pretty long distance. Moving myself back in. A lot of wind blowing. And I am now 126 meters out. Or 137 yards. Shut the four-wheeler off. I said I do believe I got the volume on 14 only out of 32. And that uh, transmitter itself is like 16 or 17. Something like that. I'm running a microphone about about eight inches from my mouth. Move up a little closer. I'll try to get around 100 meters to where it says it's its maximum distance. That should about do it, huh? Well, 106 yards, so 97 meters. Got a lot of wind. You can see the grass blowing in that. So. Dust devil up there, even. What the hell? Now, I'm going to stop right here. Four wheeler running. Let's get some uh, distance. All right, 57 meters right here, 63 yards. And as far as sound, wind, he said I'm not talking too loud. Terrible amount of wind coming in. But give me a Good rough idea. A lot. This four wheeler is not a quiet four wheeler, very loud. And you're glad springs here, eh? Alright, this will be test number two and the final one. But I'm going to take the four wheeler down across this little creek drive around that way up into the field and get way up there which is easily over 150 meters and then I'm going to work my way back. I'd have to say right now probably a good 40-50 meters out. I'm going to wrap around. I know it's going to probably do some reception here. But we're going to get up to that spot. i got a lot of trees in the way between the camera and my microphone right now. So once again, I'd be amazed if this is actually sounding all right. All right, if there's a possibility that you can hear, I am good 140 meters up but step down a little bit shit I'm probably about 130 right now good 130 meters I'll tell you what a little bit farther here about 100 
120. I'm going to shut this off just in case you can hear this all right. Now what I'm going to do is turn my volume. I got it on 16. I'm going to turn it down to 15. There's 15. Now here's 14 for a volume. There's 13 for a volume. There's 12. This is 12 for a volume. Screwed up and switched the channels. Hopefully it's still picking up. There's 14 for a volume, 15 for a volume, 16, and there's 17 for a volume. We're going to stick it on 16 just to see. If I were to turn it up, this is all the way up for volume, 32. Now, I don't have the receiver all the way up, but I'm going to start that four-wheeler up. See how much interference there is. Noise with uh, volume at 32. Down, there's 29 for a volume, 24 for a volume. We're going to go to, let's settle on 16 for a volume. See how that works? Head back down, set it. Got the microphone probably about 8, 10 inches from my mouth. Now you could, in a sense, turn that volume way down and have it right up by you where you wouldn't pick any other stray noise up. And maybe I'll try that. I got the microphone right by me now, and I put it on 12 for a volume. See if that uh, does anything. Getting over these ruts and stuff. A lot of deep water. Oh, I'll make it through all right, but I don't know how uh, wet it is. No, not that bad. So anyways, now I have the microphone right on top of me. Actually, a couple inches from my mouth. And got the volume down. I'm going to put that microphone back down a little bit and turn the volume up. Got the volume on 15 now. Microphone's about 10, 11 inches from my chest. So anyways, that's what you can expect out of this thing. I'm kind of impressed with it. It does have a long battery life and very portable. Very portable. Pretty neat. All right, so there you are. Deboya BY WM6. Now, I live out in the country, so there is a chance for interference on this thing. I'm using it right now indoors. And like I said, normally I use shotgun mics. Got good experience with them. This is my first real wireless mic. I suppose I could fine-tune it a little more. I'll be able to uh, get some better quality out of it. You do have, I do believe, up to 40 channels you can scroll through to find the optimum channel without worrying about interference. From what I've seen, it says the battery life's about 8 hours off from AA batteries. Very small, handy unit, actually, both the transmitter and receiver. And as you've seen there, it just blows me away the reception distance this damn thing has. So there you go. I'd provide you a link for it, but I would say just go on Amazon or eBay and type in Boya BY-WM6. Good working units.